So once again, today's video is a requested video, and it is how I got into prints. <laughs> Remember, if you have a requested video, you can leave it. It doesn't have to be prints related. It can be about whatever. Um, but before I tell you, I have a, a new addition to my prints collection. And it's just one little thing. And I got it at Amoeba like a week ago. Actually, a week ago exactly. But anyway, it is the Kiss single. And it looks like this. It says Prince and the Revolution Kiss. Like that. And it has prints on it, of course. And on the back, it has Wendy. And then the B side is Love or Money. And yeah. And it's brand new. That's the thing about it. That's why it's special. And it, it's always been on Amoeba. They had two there, then they didn't have it, then they have it. And it's just. Yeah. Okay. So. One more thing, I am wearing the the shirt I got at the concert, so yeah. So how I got into prints. Okay, it's kind of an interesting story. It's a very long story. <laughs> this is going to be such a long video. Anyway, um, I've been into prints, I guess, for almost a year. Yeah, since last, um, last January, actually. Okay, let me just start. This is, it's very confusing, but... Ooh, last January, so January 2010, um, I was kind of hanging out with this guy, or we talked on the phone a lot, and I really freaking liked him. I'm pretty sure that was my first love. Anyway, um, and one day, I went to his house, and I put this on my mama's grave, and Prince, and L.A., and oatmeal, and whatever else. We didn't do anything but watch Purple Vein. We're on his couch. Seriously, we, uh, seriously, okay. Um, we he he had he was looking for something so a movie we can watch, and he had uh, stuff recorded on his DVR or whatever, and he was like, "Purple Rain, you want to watch that?" And I was like, "Okay," because I knew it was Prince and I knew it was '80s, and I never heard any, I hadn't heard any Prince songs at all. But the thing I knew about Purple Rain is that. Um, years before that, when I used to live with my dad, my dad had a lot of vinyl, and he had Purple Rain on vinyl, and he had it brand new. He had one that was open, he had one that was brand new. And I remember looking at it, and I just liked it without knowing anything about Prince or without knowing the songs, and I wish I did at the time, but it was just on vinyl, and I was like, I like this. I was like looking at it, and I'm like, it looks so cool. Like, one day I need to check this out. We have a record player. Obviously, but I was like, that's why I didn't know any of the songs. So, yeah, I was just looking at it and I was like, yeah. And one day, I gotta listen to this and I just, yeah. But anyway, we watched, we watched Purple Rain. Uh, this is fast forward, back to the last January. We watched Purple Rain and I was looking at Prince. And I was like, oh, he's, he's, I've seen him before, but he's quite good looking. I was like, ooh. And right away, I liked Darling Nikki and the Beautiful Ones. Actually, most of the Beautiful Ones. Some parts I still didn't like, but I liked Darling Nikki right off, right away, and Purple Rain. And the rest of the songs, at first, I was like, eh, wasn't my thing at the time because I was still into ACDC, Motley Crue, and I still like them. And New Order, oh, I'll go into that in a minute, hold on. I <laughs> so we watched the movie and I liked some of the songs and yeah I was like I need to check those out and for the longest time all I can remember about Darling Mickey first of all I thought it was uh, Mickey something Darling Mickey I was like Mickey right and it was all red and that's all and I was trying to find it on YouTube and I couldn't I put Mickey Prince and I was like I can't find anything and the thing is, is that we kind of stopped hanging out, didn't uh, work out, and I was depressed. That's why I was listening to New Order, which is a depressing band, so that didn't help. And I was, I was seriously depressed. Last, oh, kitty cats. All of, m most of last year, up until October, I was depressed, really, about him. And I, I, that's why I, I, uh, kind of wasn't into Purple Rain for a while because I was like, if I watch it, it's just going to remind me of him and that day and all that crap. So, not until June of that year, I was like, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to buy the movie, freak. I was getting over him slowly. 
And I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna buy it's not gonna remind me of him. And I watched it like three times in a row, and each time, of course, I liked it more and more, and the songs were growing on me, and didn't remind me of him at all. I wasn't sad. I was like, and I remember watching it, and I was like, wow, Prince, Prince is like, amazing and the first time I watched it I didn't know Prince yelled and he was crazy and he was on the floor with the beautiful ones and darling Nikki those were the ones that really I was like he was like Nyah! he was screaming and everything and I was like I didn't know he was like this my image of Prince before that I know I, I judged him before I knew anything I was anyway it was just he was a pop singer and I always thought of Purple and at the Super Bowl because my, my dad watched him at the Super Bowl in 2007 and I remember my dad always saying he's so short I think you're taller than him he's purple and he was just a pop singer that's all I thought I was I didn't know he was wild and you very unique so I watched Purple Rain actually like five times five that summer and then I got the soundtrack and I was actually still thinking, I was like, should I get the soundtrack? And then I was like, yes. And so I was really only into Purple Rain for the longest time. And I tried to preview his other music on Amazon. Didn't really like it that much. I was like, ah, uh, maybe I just like Purple Rain. Oh well. And then um, when I watched Showgirls, there are some Prince songs in that movie. And when I heard 319, I bought the Gold Experience because I was the only way to get it. it wasn't on the soundtrack, whatever. So the Gold Experience was actually my second CD, which was Purple Rain and 90s music. Anyway, and yeah, and I was like, you know, this is not that bad. That had to grow on me too. And then during the summer, like in July, uh, I heard Controversy, the song, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I was like, how? I'm in love with Prince when I heard a controversy. I was just like, and I previewed the rest of the album. I didn't like it at the time. I was like, oh, controversy is the only good song. So I made a little CD with controversy and some other songs, 1999, I think Little Red Corvette, and When You Were Mine. Those were the only songs outside of Purple Rain that I eventually liked. And that was mainly it. And then... Is this even how I got to Prince? It should have been only that one story, but I can continue. <laughs> so I started to get more and more songs and all that, and yeah, when, oh my gosh, I need to make a video about Sign of the Times because I think that's officially my favorite Prince album. Um, because when I heard, um, when I started to realize that Prince was extremely versatile, versatile, I don't know, how, how do you say it? Um, and unique and even a little weird is when I heard If I Was Your Girlfriend. Actually, when I, when I went on Amazon, I always go on Amazon to preview music and all that, and that's where I went. I went to Amazon, I went to Sun of the Times, and it had all five stars, good reviews. I was like, this must be like freaking awesome you know so I previewed actually I looked at the track list first and when I saw if I was your girlfriend I was like huh like doesn't he mean boyfriend I was like girl I was like Prince is a little weird <laughs> in a good way and I was just so confused and I previewed all of them and honestly I was not feeling the songs at first I was like eh and I still ordered it I ordered so much of his CDs I was like I don't care I'm gonna order it and for some reason, um, when I, I, this was my routine when I was slowly buying all his music on the CDs, 1999, Around the World Day, Sign Times, all those classics. Um, when I was, I would, I would get them in the mail and I got them in a row. It was like, this day was 1999 and then this and then this and that was so perfect. So when I was getting them in the mail after school, I got it. I would come home, I would have some, uh, I remember this, I would have like a TV dinner and I would have my crystal light strawberry and had caffeine in it because I was so tired after school and I had homework. Oh my god, this is like nostalgia. Anyway, I was, I was tired and uh, exhausted actually from school because I would never get sleep and school is exhausting. So I'd have a little caffeine and there was like strawberry crystal light. And I would eat a little meal because, of course, you're starving after school. And I would, while I was doing that or after, I would put in whatever CD came in the mail that day and listen to the whole thing. I would just sit there on my bed and listen to the whole thing without being like, oh, I don't like that one. Skip. 
It's like, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it play. I'm gonna let it... And I need to start doing that again. I haven't done that. I've broken the rules, but that's what I did. Every time I got a new Prince CD, that was so fun. I would never skip a, a song, seriously. And Sign of the Times, apparently when I heard it, the full thing on every song, I was in love with it. I don't know why when I previewed it, I was like, eh. But then when I listened to the whole thing, I was like, okay, that was freaking amazing. So amazing that I was like, Carl, you need to take this away because I don't want to get tired of it. It's so amazing. Like, I was like, I can't believe it. He's like, jeez. And it's, of course, two disc. And I still haven't found that on vinyl at Amoeba. I haven't seen that at all. I would love to have that on vinyl. Oh, my God. Did I tell you that I, I, I think, I always wonder what the Dream Factory, Dream Factory cover would have looked like. And I think maybe the Sign of the Times cover looks more dreamy than End of the World type of thing. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what the cover would have looked like. Anyway, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And now, of course, um, a lot, I've discovered a lot more. Uh, you've seen, if you haven't seen my Prince collection, you can see all the CDs I have so far. And I'm just still discovering more. Like, just a couple of nights ago, or last night, no, a couple of nights ago, I just discovered When I Lay My Hands On You. Yes, because I heard he opened with that a few nights ago, because he's still in LA. And I was like, ah, oh, I haven't heard that song yet, and when I heard it, I like it. It's good. It's, it's good for a new song, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, I'm still discovering more. Oh, and I have, uh, I got sent some more songs from my friend. And they're Animal Kingdom and Baby Go-Go. And they scare me. They are creepy. Honestly, I was like, doesn't this sound creepy to my mom? She was like, no. But they scare me. Okay. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I got into Prince. I'm still into Prince. And... Yeah, I, I have nothing against New Order or Motley Crue, actually, I, I, I was listening to New Order the other day, but it's still sad, I was like, I'm sad, but they're still amazing musicians, seriously, I still like that music, I'm not saying anything bad about it, um, but yeah, that's about it, you can tell me how you got into Prince, you can make a video, leave a comment, or whatever, and leave any other suggestions, it doesn't have to be Prince related, it can be about anything, and yes, have a good night, bye!